Well, Ryan, we've gotten you in a very difficult position here. The dreaded buried lie in the bunker. Uh, this is the one that strikes panic and fear in most of our viewers, and, and it's quite, quite frankly, one of the most difficult shots around the green. The one thing we want to remember here, there's nothing we can do to make this ball come out high and soft and stop. So we've got to realize that we are going to have some roll once the ball hits the green. It's going to roll out. We're not going to get uh, the ball to stop. So we need to go up and make sure that we know what's on the other side. That's the one thing that you see. If we've got a water hazard or something on the other side, we may not even be able to play the shot toward the pin. In this case, though, we're downwind. We've got a lot of sand to carry here. We've got a big high lip to get over, and we've got a buried lie. And the one thing that we want our viewers to learn today is that this shot is possible. We can get this ball out, although we may end up a good shot as being 15 to 20 feet beyond the pin with this, the setup we've got here this afternoon. So let's go ahead and set up, and we'll kind of talk about the fundamentals of this shot first and foremost. You're going to see Ryan put a little more weight into his left side. You're going to see him square the club face some. It won't be completely square, just slightly open, but not nearly as open as if we had just a normal shot here. And the reason for that is we want to use the dynamics of the wedge to help us dig a little into the sand. We've got to get the leading edge of that golf club to get below the bottom of that golf ball. If we can do that, if we can get the leading edge to dig in, then that's going to cause the sand to push the ball upward. Again, we don't hit the ball here, we're hitting the sand. This reaction of the sand is going to drive the ball up in the air and produce the maximum amount of height and softness that we can get with this shot. What about your weight distribution, Ryan? Where are you going to put your weight here? Uh, you know, 60-40. So a little heavier on the left leg than the right. He's about 60-40 on his left leg. He's going to keep his lower body pretty quiet here. What about the takeaway? We're going to be a little steeper with our takeaway, aren't we? Absolutely. Uh, just getting a little steeper, taking it maybe just a little bit outside and just letting that club swing, swing back down the line. So a little steeper, a little back, more back down the line, a little less open with the club face. That's going to get this club working more deeply into the sand, causing the reaction of the sand to push the ball up and pop it up and get as much maximum height as we can. You feel like hitting one for him? Sure. Notice again, 60-40 left leg, feet worked into the sand. A little steeper and outside with the takeaway, a little less open with the club face. Beautiful shot. And as you can see, that ball got plenty of height on it. We cleared the lip. Notice his follow through there. He's turned his hips. Right arm has released and turned over. We took a little more sand with that because of the the face angle being a little less open, it caused the club to dig a little deeper, which causes the sand to force the ball from the buried or plug lie up and out. It is gonna run out, so give yourself a little room on the other side for that ball to roll out. A, a difficult shot, but one that you don't need to be terrified of. Just remember the tendencies. The ball's gonna roll a little more when it hits the green. Getting that club face into the sand a little deeper and steeper is going to help you get that ball higher coming out. Hope this makes those buried lies a little less tough for you at home.